Australia's very first state government funded satellite has delivered its first images from space. Joining me live to discuss this is SmartSat Chief Research Officer Dr Carl Soybert. Uh, Carl, good afternoon. Thanks for your time today. Good to see you. Uh, this is a significant milestone for the space mission. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, thanks Holly. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, we've been working on this mission, the Canyini mission now for a number of years. Um, it launched later last year and now finally we're getting some really fantastic images from the, the camera that's on board that spacecraft. And we're using this now to map and, and do some, some really great research and applied um, information extraction across Australia with it. Yeah, incredible. We've also got those images there, so we'll hopefully get those up on the screen so our audience can have a look at them too. But talk us through the images, I guess, and its capabilities here. I mean, the vast amount of data behind each image allows them to be processed to reveal infrared details normally invisible to the human eye, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. So the Canyini spacecraft, and this thing is small, it's only roughly the size of uh, two loaves of bread. Um, and within that, it actually has a very complex and sophisticated camera and imaging system. Um, and, and SmartSat CRC, there's an image of it there. SmartSat CRC, we're a research centre mm -hmm. and we're operating the, the mission and we're actually you know, managing the, the payload itself, which is this imaging camera. And the imaging camera is really quite fancy. It's got the ability to take images across 50 slices of the spectrum. So it's effectively like 50 different colors. Um, and some of those, as you mentioned, are actually in the near infrared and they're outside what the human eye would be actually able to see. And from space where you've got this really high vantage point, you can now take these great snapshots looking down at the earth and do this earth observation imagery. And what's really important then is what we do with those imagery. So we actually are now applying a lot of research and a lot of technology development in data analytics to basically take those images and now turn them into information that we care about and can use. Um, this is a South Australian government funded mission. So we're very much applying this to aspects that are relevant to the South Australian um, government and to the decision makers, as well as the people of South Australia. So it's a really great opportunity to use this really complex imager and now turn it into information that we care about. Um, and that's what we're doing here at SmartSat CRC. Um, so we've done a number of projects now working directly with government departments within South Australia to use these imagery and, and create those, those uh, research products to turn it into information. Um, and some of the things, I'll, I'll give you some examples of what we're doing with it. Um, the beauty yeah, of sure. having it now in space is we can, we can image the land and the ocean. Um, and we're using it, for instance, to map seagrass in the St. Vincent Gulf um, just off Adelaide there. And seagrass is very important because it's a measure of the health and the quality of the water there. Um, and that's really important then for the people in terms of the resources, in terms of the fishing, in terms of using it for recreation. They've been monitoring seagrass there in South Australia for decades. Um, and now this is a chance to do it from space and really augment and add, add to that to that value. Um, we're also using it to, to map the vegetation across the state and in particular areas. This is important for things like we're using it over Kangaroo Island. You saw an image of that before that we took. We can now use this to now look at the growth and, of the vegetation after the, the significant fires that they had a couple of years ago. So we can now do large area mapping of, of that regrowth. We can also use it in the agricultural sector so they can use it for detecting and, and monitoring their crops from space. We have a big portfolio of work looking at that. And another really great one, which is using our thermal imagery, which is very much outside of the, the visible what our eyes can see and we use that for urban heat mapping so we now look at this and the beauty of having our spacecraft we can take images over adelaide and we took one actually a couple of weeks ago when it was over 40 degrees so we can now see where there are true hot spots across the city and this helps urban planners when they're doing their health indexes and where they're going to now do green vegetation and replanting of trees so it's a really great opportunity to bring it back now and use this this spacecraft for uh, society yeah. purposes yeah, it's, it's absolutely remarkable. I mean, and providing, I guess, this critical data here, as you said, to support future research projects uh, by government, by institutions, it's incredible. Um, what's happening over the coming months and once it's fully operational? 
Yeah, so we're, you know, the South Australian government, we have to thank them, the previous and the current government. This is many years in the making. Um, and, and their investment was into Australian industry, particularly in South Australia. So the multiple team, we're, we're running this SmartSat, Miriota and, and Innovor. We're all operating the spacecraft and its payloads and uh, we'll continue to do so now over the coming months. When it comes to the imagery and what the payload is doing, we're going to continue to take more images over not just South Australia, but Australia and worldwide. Worldwide, We have currently have over 50 images already, so now we've got to turn those into to data products and information that we care about. We'll continue to do so. We have international collaborations that we're working on with this imager and how this fits into other Earth observation systems. Um, and we'll continue to keep using it and training not just the people Great. and the skills that come into it, but the users as well. Oh, wonderful, Carl. We do have to wrap things up. I've run out of time, but just out of interest sake, I don't know if you'd know the exact number, but do you know how far it's travelled? Oh, that's a, that's a great question, and I should know this. <laughs> Put you on the spot there. <laughs> it's, it's in the data sheets, and I, 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 I don't have that on deck, but it, it's travelled a long way. It's travelling at you know, uh, 15,000. A long 000. way. Let's run with that. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Interesting stuff. Super remarkable work that you guys are doing. We'll see you soon. Thanks.